A new day, a new weed stem to be gathered. Hello, this is Bart from the future. Coming to you on your television. Your black and white television. Your 180p black and white television. <laughs> uh, anyway. Not sure where I was going with this. Uh, w and welcome. Welcome back. It is me, Bart. It's a new day. Uh, while you're watching this, I'm probably out at a beach somewhere. And it's fun. So hooray me in the future. But right now, hooray me in the present. And maybe even the... I guess it would be the past at this point for you. So we're really working out of a lot of timelines here. It's like the multiverse in this shiz. But uh, we're here. Playing some grounded as we do. As we, the bot sim, do. And we are here to get weed stims. To get weed stims. So let's, uh, let's just go fill this up. And I remember last time, this was yesterday, last night, I hucked all of these into the zip line. Let's not do that again. Let us learn our lesson. R is for huck. And G is for place. Everyone knows placement sound so starts with a G. And everyone knows Huck starts with an R. That is not actually, if you don't know, I, it's wrong. I just lied to you. Do not listen to me <laughs> in that way. I hear you. I hear you, Spytor. We should probably defeat another one of those. But this time we should make a stuffed animal one and then get the good ingredients. Although, yeah, we, yeah, we should do that. Yeah. I have been, I used my, ooh, I used my freaking fangs to make weapons and armor. I should have made the stuffed animals. I hope I have enough to do that still. Otherwise, I'll have to go defeat more. I guess we can defeat the normal ones though and get the same ingredients. It's kind of weird that we could make a stuffed and a, a stuffed head, a head mount and a stuffed animal, stuffed version of the infected, before we even defeated one, while the the wolf spider one we had to defeat it once before we were al allowed to do that. It's interesting. Did we? Was there some reason for that? Was that a glitch, or is it just because it was like unlocked later and it just assumed we'd be at that point and? It assumed that we've probably defeated a normal one, so as soon as we saw a new one to have the buff, probably made sense. I don't know. This it's don't interesting. It's interesting. It. All all of the all of the things are interesting. Hello. <laughs> I'm doing fine. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing today, watcher, viewer? So I'm doing great. I need food. Really, just not. Too much of our set uh, said uh satian sage uh hmm. i'm talking about that jerky doesn't give us much food bar <laughs> but there's a word for that satian satiation we don't feel sated something like that ain't no satian happening here it's like darn nation satiation I'm a little, a little out there right now, I think. I'm realizing that now. <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little funny. I have not been drinking. I'm not uh if you've been thinking that. I have not been. I'm just being uh I'm a little silly right now. Since I'm going on vacation, I, mean, I was cleaning cars today. Uh, and maybe some of that, that gunk from the cars got into my, my lungs, and now I'm high on dirt. A weed stem? A lot of weed stems here. This is great. This is the place to be for weed stems. Okay. You gotta break? <laughs> I love the pattern of it being broken in the air. It was like a cartoon, like sitting there in the air and then he starts falling situation. Oh, good. Alright, let's go. I think we're gonna have, like, this is 
This is easily like 150 from what we did last night to now. This is pretty good. It's pretty good. My plans on this, by the way, it's like I haven't done record. I haven't done editing in a while. So I could spend all my time just recording so I can have this stockpile that I can edit uh, remotely and release. And I'm just going to hope that that pans out because I really don't know how editing is going to go otherwise. <laughs> but uh, that's my plan right now. That's how I'm thinking the behind the scenes situation right now. That's why I'm recording like every night lately. You've been seeing me pretty much every night. <laughs> enjoyable honestly I feel like we're getting some good progress in this game in the sense of not story but in the sense of like us progressing uh to do techs and also building a, a sweet base to be proud of the last time i said talked about this like do da, da, da. okay wait uh dot 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 oh line dot dot i, I don't know is that remorse code what does that say it's lines and dots, right? I used to know a little bit of that for a while, but it totally has left my memory. I know, yeah, the alphabet for like letters and stuff, and then you like hold for a bit to, to separate, right? Do you hold? I don't know. See, I, I've totally forgotten. I've totally forgotten that. But uh, funny enough, the reason I, I learned that at least a little bit was to play that one game, uh, bomb defusal game on VR. <laughs> I when that first came out, and I think it's for like anything. It doesn't you don't have to be in VR, but it's like a little game you you have literally a manual you print out and send like the the your co-op partners are trying to like help you defuse the bomb and you're like in VR or in the game just looking at a bomb and you're supposed to like turn each like side of the bomb over and give like serial numbers and stuff like that. And the uh, people have to look through like the manual of uh, disarming the bomb and like vocally like tell you how to do it. And it, it's just a, it, it's really funny. <laughs> it's a fun, it's a fun experience. And a lot of hecticness because you're just watching this timer go down from like five or two minutes and just like tick away. And you're like, please tell me if I need to cut the red wire. <laughs> please tell me it's the red one. And then at some point you just have to like bite the bullet and just do it. That game got so popular. I remember watching a bunch of stuff when it first came out too, of like people who got so good at it that they re memorized the manual and like just go in it solo and they just played. And I was like, holy moly, that's crazy. You're crazy. But that's a fun game. There should be more games like that, uh, VR wise. Very uh, um, asymmetrical teamwork. One person's in a situation, other people... Honestly, there's a few of them. There's a squirrel game. My, uh, my nieces and, uh... Just my nieces right now. Uh, they love it. Because they're just, they're old enough to actually play it. Uh, it, it's a game where... Whoever's in VR, you play a giant, like, tree. Uh, oak tree, or whatever produces the acorns, I forget. Um, it's, a, it's a, called Acrom, in fact. That's the game. Uh, but you, one person is a big tree with like arms and the other people are picking like different classes of squirrels and you're supposed to go like take an acorn from below the tree and take it back to your your mound which is kind of weird for squirrels but uh, it's a it's a fun game because like the tree like tries to pick up squirrels and like throw them away and they respawn and they have like two minutes to do it and at that point there's no more respawns for the squirrels and then they have to uh, they have to pretty much, like, whoever's left alive get the last acorns. I think they have to get, like, three golden acorns or something. But, yeah, it's a fun game. I, I love playing that. Um, There's a lot of games like that. There's another game uh, for VR that's asymmetrical like that, where it's, like, there's a bunch of robots, and, like, the people on a monitor play the robots, while there's a big overseer who's in VR who's trying to deduce who is a player, who's a rogue AI and they have to like throw them into the grinder and that's a fun game. That was like one of the first versions of like asymmetrical VR games that I played. That was like when the Vive headset came out. A lot of stuff. A lot of fun stuff in that. I've been into VR for a long time by the way. Uh, 
got the first dev kits and stuff from uh, Oculus when Oculus was Oculus. So, honestly, I, I wish I'd made more and figured out a good pattern and a very digestible pattern and a 2D do 2D monitor of videos for it. I've I've watched this other YouTuber come up. I think it's called. I just actually ran into him like yesterday. Um, called VR Bro or something. I really like how he does it. It like it's it's heavily edited. It's not like what I'm doing here, where you know I can just record and talk to you guys. Oh, one second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Coyote just took a bath uh, when there was some light outside, like right when it was changing to like like night, uh, and had no lights on. Uh, and and the, when the light disappeared in the window, uh, there was no light to get out of the bath. So <laughs> they were just in a warm bath in the <laughs> the cosmos, the space, endless space of uh, the darkness. And uh, they were just like, my hubers! <laughs> and uh, it was funny. It was funny. I may, be, I may leave some little sections of that in, but that was funny. Anyway... <laughs> let's let's keep going. I was talking about VR stuff, uh, but yeah, I, I think I would like to do more VR stuff in the future. I, I really want to get to a situation on this channel where I do some more like full edited videos, maybe reviews of games or something like that. I don't know what you guys would like to see, but I'm I'm a huge gamer. That's never going to change. I'm I have a lot of experience in gaming and stuff like that. I feel like I could give some good opinions of like games that I've run across. So maybe like edited little reviews or I don't know. I like a lot of uh, games like this and I feel like I would clearly play them in the way I'm doing this. Like I, would, I don't think I would stop doing this kind of content where I'm just going through a game and my pace and, and doing a full blind run. I think the most people who find me are clearly into the uh the like full blind trying to re-experience the game from you know very beginning which i am always into that i i love watching youtubers go through a game i've experienced and loved and just like it gives me that semblance of like oh i i can re-experience the game through you <laughs> yay um but uh let's do one more round of weed gathering um but yeah i i don't think that's ever gonna stop being a thing on the channel um until i just you know can't do it anymore for some reason probably <laughs> and i you know i'm not gonna it's never gonna be a rush job i don't think unless like i can full make it like you know if i can make money on youtube I, i'd prioritize it obviously but i just you know for now doing this as a hobby having people on a little community who are enjoying watching and like we can get to talk about the game and I don't know I, I enjoy this and uh I really love reading all your all's comments about you know how this game has been awesome for you and how you you've been enjoying watching someone go through it again or even people who said I just started this game and ran a, I, I you know when I came across your channel and I can't believe you're doing this on well mode I'm like ah yeah <laughs> I can't believe it either. <laughs> Why am I doing that again? <laughs> I said in the beginning of this game, I've started up this trend that I have to do everything in hard mode and, like, immerse myself in the difficulty. Which, you know, I guess pulls in the hijinks of the game, which is fun. I don't re regret doing the hard mode stuff. Uh, that's why I really liked uh, that Mar Mars Survivor game. Uh, mm. Sorry, I'm having kind of indigestion over there. Um, the a game where you have to live on like a planet, uh, separate. Excuse me, or spider. Just keep sleeping. I'm just trying to get some these stems. Thank you. Just want to do this, this. Very good. Don't break towards them. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. Run. All right. Uh, but yeah, I've enjoyed this a lot, and I'm I'm enjoying it still. Uh, and uh, the only thing I I w hope to do is get more consistent with it, so you guys <laughs> can enjoy it. Uh. 
more consistently and can expect videos more often but you know it's all work in progress and it'll always be a little bit of a work in progress probably so uh, if you guys are cool with that I'm happy and I'll obviously just keep getting better I, I've already can tell that uh, <laughs> weird enough uh, I never really liked reading things out loud or something like that I always I, I would I would get too nervous about it uh, especially when I was younger uh, until I took a uh, public speaking class and, and got a little bit it got a little bit better uh, it's stuff like that uh, so doing this and and getting to the points where I have to read and stuff like that I already could tell I do it a lot better which is impressive to me <laughs> just you know consistency uh, not consistency, but you know, obviously putting the work towards it, it, it shows. And in that, I don't know. Maybe it's just it's just about becoming more comfortable with it. I think at the end of the day, and then you get a huge boost of like, man, I'm doing I'm doing better. Not that I don't completely fumble words around and misread things. Like I read that one quest that said uh, peak, and I kept reading his beak. Like that's never gonna probably not be a thing <laughs> for me. But you know, uh, hopefully it's not too frustrating. <laughs> Uh, we left some weed stems over there. I'm, I'm tempted to go back down. But it is becoming night. Oh. Maybe we just leave those. I am still getting alt tabbed. I swear. I, I don't. I have to completely wipe my computer to fix this thing. All right. Anyway, let's uh we'll wait for that for a second, and then we're just gonna go back and see how many weed stems we have. I don't know if they un like despawn as well. I was a little worried. <laughs> It's such a cool game. Like, I don't know. I'm still excited about, like, going around in this game and, like, seeing the perspective of everything. Like, this is just a great little world they built. And it's so cool. I'm still just as excited to play this game as the first day I picked it up. And that, that says something about this game to me. Excuse me, I have to kill a mosquito. I have to kill a mosquito. Blast the past. They're in the bar scene. And, and that girl in the movie tells the other guy, sorry, I have to go use the restroom. He was told to go to take a restroom and leave. Always said that was such a funny moment. I'm just talking random things, I'm sorry. <laughs> Clearly, I fight the best when I don't know what I'm talking about. Or I just string a consciousness of something else. Anyway. <laughs> if anyone could follow what I was meaning there, good on you. Because I could barely follow myself when I think back at it. Uh. Yes. Uh, sap? Sap? We have no sap? Ooh. Oh, we do have sap. Where's him? There we go. Uh, did it take our jerky? It did. Our jerky's here, though. Our jerky's here. Uh, drink some water. Nice and clean. Take some water. Grab a bunch of this stuff and let's go upstairs. Oh, hey, bud. Uh, let's take one down that's full. Because, uh, we're, we're gonna get it filled up too fast. Actually, do we want to leave them up there? You know what? Yeah, let's let's we're gonna be delivering everything up here. Okay, you're taking that spot. That's fine, dude. That's fine. Let's just stack these up here for now, like all of them. And that'll also give us the ability. I need to put all the timer on. Jeez. Uh, that'll give us the ability to um clean out the downstairs and actually like set up the base a little bit more with furniture. Like, I still think we put the bedroom upstairs somewhere, but I, I think our crafting room in uh, Menageries is definitely going to be a down here situation. Okay, come on, trampling, please. This pile. I'm surprised that this game is running well enough to have this many collisions happening and not crash my computer. Like, that's impressive. Or maybe I'm just still stuck in the, the before time of gaming, where, like, if you had that many entities on a screen, the whole freaking computer would explode. 
I don't know. I, re I remember running Command and Conquer, Tiberian Sun, and there was a, there was, there's so many cheats for that games and stuff like that, uh, that you can like infinitely spawn units. And I remember spawning like a screen full of like cyborgs from the Nod, Nod uh, faction. And oh my gosh, <laughs> so slow the computer ran, so slow. That was a, that was a fun time in gaming for me. <laughs> Like discovering games and what all the different types and RTSs. And, ah, gosh. We gotta play that. I, I've had this idea uh, that I want to do on the channel too. On top of like me just generally curious about doing VR content and like figuring that out. Uh, obviously, I've already done a little bit since we did like kayak VR and stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> I still have not released the rest of that. Oh my gosh, man. That sucks. <laughs> I, did, I played that for like four hours. I've only released like half of it. Oh my gosh. Just realizing that. Oh my god. I have a lot of recorded things I need to do. But anyway, uh, I, uh, I want to do, and you know, give me, give me your opinion. Is it a good idea? Is it not a good idea? I, I probably might still just do it, but I found this website, uh, which lets you, uh, emulate old Macintosh games that I grew up with, like, like super young. I was like six, uh, and I was playing on these like old, old games. There was a Dino Zoo game that I used to play, uh, that was so much fun. At least I remember it being fun. Uh, <laughs> who knows? There was Shuffle Puck. Oh my gosh, Shuffle Puck. It's like these, it's really retro games. Like these really, really old games. <laughs> Uh, there was a there was a haunted uh, house game that I remember that actually is being remade right now into uh, VR, which is crazy to me that someone remembered that game and thought, "Hey, well, this would be great in VR." <laughs> but you play like this chessboard thing, and there's like this mirror that talks to you. Oh my gosh, that game would scare the behebe behebes out of me. Behebejees, behebejeebies. There we go. Um, right up the night sky, but I was thinking. It'd be kind of fun to make a little series of like going to like really old games for like PC and just like doing a little retro hour, a little retro month or something. Uh, and just play some old games. One game actually was like, I, I, I played this game a lot, but the Titanic game, which is kind of strange <laughs> playing a game about the Titanic, but that was a fun game. Uh, it was so scary to me though, because th that was like the first game I ever played that had like m a mood, like music was along with like these big hallways on the Titanic, and you you had this sense of dread because you you knew what happened when, in the Titanic, so you were like, when is it gonna, when, when is this all gonna go down? I'm freaking out. Um, and that that game was a lot of fun. I think it was actually I, last time I saw someone talk about that game was actually John Tron because he played it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that's a, that was a fun, fun video if I remember right. But yeah, like games like that, like really old ones. I have the, I have the discs for them all. I don't think I could ever get them running that way. That's what, but I, that's why I was excited because I found that website and I was like, oh dude, I can, I could just like download the files and, and play these old games. That's, that's amazing. Putting these down because we need to build. Uh. But anyway, I was thinking maybe that. There's a lot of ideas I've been wanting to like do, but just didn't have, haven't yet to run into the right amount of time I could actually put towards it. What I really need to do is, uh, if I really make these like edited videos and stuff like that of, uh, I don't know, my thoughts on a, on a game or something like that. Um, I, I just need to just, I just need to spend my I spend a few <laughs> few days like just full on it and, and really try to just gun it out and then just see if it does well because if it does well then that you know encourages me to do more but yeah I don't know I'm just I'm just throwing some some uh, thought barf at you guys because I'm just talking. <laughs> Barf, yeah, that's great. That was a great way to put it, Bart. Good job. Anyway, <laughs> just just talking, just seeing uh, seeing all the ideas you get. I think after this game, 
which I don't even know how far we are in. I feel like we got to be close, though. We've done all four of the labs. We have a window situation, but at the same time, we have yet to touch this whole half of the yard. Okay, let's let's think about this, actually. We've done everything here. We have stuff to do over here, and we have not touched any of the stuff over here. We're not even halfway over this. I guarantee it. Also, I should freaking deposit the jerky. Um, hello. Missing burgle chip. Hey, look at that. Oh, crap. These are for the mission. Oh, wait, no. Wait, maybe? I don't know. Wait, there's a burgle chip here? What? There's a burgle chip here. How have we not noticed this? Burgle, you were supposed to tell me there was more chips to be found. There's more in the pond? What the heck? We need to go to the pond. We need to go to the pond, we need to go to the picnic table. I think you guys were telling me, and I'm sure you've been telling me, <laughs> like, please, Bart, just, just go to the picnic table. Just, please, please, you'll unlock something you need, I'm sure. I don't know why I went with that voice, but anyway, I'm sure that you guys are telling me that. I'm sure I need to do that. Maybe we should go do that. Maybe we should, once we pull this stuff up here, maybe we should just run over there and get the charcoal. <laughs> Let's see what that unlocks, because we're about to do interior stuff, and I'm worried we're going to start doing interior stuff, and we're going to unlock this whole new tech line of, of crafting. And it's going to be a totally different setup, and we're going to have to redo everything interiorly. I think the exterior is whatever, exterior is whatever because it's like, you know, you're just really making a, a, a form. There might be easier bricks to make or stronger bricks, but at least you have, at least we have our form of the base that we can just like replace whatever tiles we need to if we need to do that. Um, excuse me. Could you go down? Thank you. It is so dark in here. Do we, uh, uh, let's sleep. Let's sleep. We need to light the place up too, which there might be better lighting situations if we get. Yeah, we should do that. We should do it. We've done a lot of building. Let's take everything up though. Let's fi finish what we were doing and, and make a little platform up here full of ingredients that we consistently fill or something. I don't know. Seems, seems like a smart thing to do. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if we go over to the picnic table, I know there's, you guys were telling me there's something with the shovel. Uh, if you ask me, I think it's probably something about getting up on top of the picnic table. I think that was, I think that was something said in the comments. Um, I didn't want to know, but now I do know. Um, but it's okay. We do need to get up on there. I probably would have found my own way up, which would have been filled with all sorts of hijinks, but now you won't get to see it. Because now I know the shovel takes me up there. <laughs> I'm sure we have to, like, brat burst it. You never know. I might have just ran across it before. And I, I, If I saw the shovel, which I don't remember that shovel at all when we were over there. So if I saw the shovel from further away and I was like, oh, it's a location we should check out, I would have probably gravitated toward it, towards it. So it's whatever. But... Yeah, we should go do that. I guarantee going to that picnic table and also going over to the charcoal is at, for our best interest. And at this point, the game has already told me there's like, we need charcoal to do stuff. If I was playing this and no one told me not to, to avoid like certain area, like I was to told to avoid this area because it, I should get to a story point where it tells me to go over there. Um, I, I probably would have gone over, like, I would have looked on the map and seen a charcoal drill grill over here and been like, oh, I'm just going to go, I'm going to get that because I want to get the tech tree. So, you know, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm just saying I probably would have already gone over there by now. <laughs> yeah, let's go there. This is looking cool, I think. I, I hope you guys think it's looking cool. I have yet, like I said, I haven't released any of the episodes of me building this. But I think it's looking pretty cool. 
<laughs> I'm liking this. And we're gonna make a farm out here, and ah, uh, my gosh. It's gonna be great, let me tell you. No water filtration tablets needed. Yeah, let's move these up. Uh, I didn't check how many. Well, let's go upstairs first, but we need to check how many wheat sims we made. Or farms, I should say, not made. Uh, we made 229. 229. 291. I don't know. Yeah, I read it that way for some reason. I don't, I don't know how to explain myself. We'll leave the ones on the edges because we have so much grass, we don't know what to do with it. So, let's not fill up the hole upstairs. But that's pretty good there, the little corner. Um, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Would you like more cheese on that, sir? <laughs> Very good. Um, I want to build this up. Uh, what do we do? Do we keep building for this episode, or do we go and travel outward and inward into our soul? Uh, I think we go travel outward. Just, let's break up this episode a little bit of the building. We have a lot to do on the building still, but we have a lot to do in the story. So let's, let's go, let's go do a thing, you know? Let's go do a thing. We can repair it with this, that's fine. Might as well. Give me, give me a one on all these. And, uh, this boy. Can't do anything. Maybe we can make the mighty glob. Which main, makes me think of the mighty... Gorb in, uh... Uh... <laughs> I was gonna say Final Fantasy. In Hollow Knight. If anyone knows Hollow Knight. Mighty Gorb. The best boss. Okay. Let's grab our meat. You know what I said. Um, you know what I meant. Let's put down... He didn't survive, unfortunately, but I was surprised that he died to an ant. This, this gnat here. I was surprised. That's all I have to say. Let's reset these. We always need more silk. Um, one second. Got my phone a ringing, ring a dinging. It is nothing. <clears throat> I would like to get my armor and make sure it's all repaired. I feel a little less squishy now. Yeah, I bet you do. It is not repaired. Look, we killed some. Uh, let the bug parts so we can do it. That is the wrong thing. Oh! Oh, good! Goody! I have to use repair glue now on all this. Because I've upgraded it past the point of no return. Okay. Well. Ooh. This is a lot of stuff, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. Oh, gosh. Okay. I mean, yeah. We have the most spider chunks. Can we scan this? We cannot. Okay, give me a repair. How long does this take? Yeah, it's a quarter of the way done. All right, we'll wait for a minute. Uh, let's not use our jerky. Let's get some uh, fresh meat. Hello? Oh, what? Hello? What happened? What? Is there someone in here? You're up there. No. What? I don't know what's going on. One more? Oh my gosh, there's so many of you guys. Get over here! Gotcha. What? Okay, let's cook these guys up. We have three of these? How do we get three of those? Oh, 
Almost done with that. Oh, that's the... I was like, what is squishing? It's actually this. I mean, that's so gross. We're literally throwing the butts of spiders in there, and it's like... It's like making butter. Eh. Eh. Oh, I've all tabbed. And I'm also almost... I almost stopped recording. Oh, gosh. By actually hitting back in, I thought I hit exit. Anyway. Um, repair the, the shin guards. Uh, let us repair this. I might not upgrade things past five for a bit. Yeah, okay, let's repair it. Or let's... We don't need a bench to repair it, so let's take a glue with us. Let's take one glue with us, and we'll use that up until we need to go. Uh, this guy. Take all. Eat. Salt. Fresh meat's the best, apparently. What is he doing up there? Like, I don't... I don't know. Move some more up, I guess. Let the time pass. You're just stuck there, huh? You're just stuck there. So we have what in our inventory? What do we need in our inventory? We don't need this. I need the spray roots. Give me my dirke. Give me my glue. And then we head over to um, the picnic table. Is there something we need to bring? Let's bring a way for us to fast travel so we can get over there real fast. Let, let us bring whatever we need to build this jazz, uh, which we need clay, a bunch of silk rope. Uh, okay, so silk rope is in this one, right? This one? I don't think we'll need more than three stacks. In fact, I think we only need two stacks. Um, because we just need to connect to the middle or maybe even to the, the, any, any of our little fast travels would be fine. Uh, and we need weed stems, which we'll have to get there and then clay. So we'll just, we'll, we'll break some clay on the way. I think we're good. I think we got water. I think we got, uh, the food. Oh, we do not have brat burst and I bet we'll need it. Uh, the question is where did I put such things as these? How did I do it? Do we want this? No. I'll take this though. Uh, it's the gas resistance one with dust guard. No, we don't need that. The poison arrows are interesting. No, we won't. Uh, I would like to sit beside you on the way, on the way. Right, let's get out of here. Let's take a fresh travel and head over. Oh, crow coming back. Landed on the pond. I'm flying! He's flying. 50 arrows almost. Got the silk. Got some bombs. We have a light. We have food. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good, dude. I think we're standing. We're an outstanding individual here. Ready to go. We didn't get the glue. We did get the glue. I'm smart. So smart. Yeah. That bark guy. My poor guy, every time I see him, I'm like, oh my god, his IQ must be like 300. I don't know if 300's a lot. <laughs> I have no idea. What's IQ? <laughs> like, what's, the, what's the range that's good? Oh, hello. I have no idea. 
actually have no idea. Hey, Fid. Hey, Fid. Oh my gosh, yes, please. Thank you. We will just drop this crow feather over here, though. Did we take our jerky? We did. I had a feeling I may have pressed in on the way out. Uh, let's put the feathers in here. And keep moving on. Now, we could... Hmm. I was told that I should probably go over to the picnic table. I think, in the comments. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But we could technically go into the trenches over here with the fungi. I hear it's pretty <laughs> terrible. I was going to say fungus fun. I was going to make a fun poke a joke, no but I was like, no. Business. And then I did it anyway. I don't know. Let's just keep going. What? Who are you attacking? Really? I mean, it's a good opportunity. You and me now, bud. Arrows really don't do much to you, huh? Right, melee, we go. Oh, God! Hello? Ow. Man, look how much damage that does. We have armor on it, dude. Ladybugs are just no joke. Absolutely no joke. Acid gland. Love to see it. Forget what we use those for, but I know they're important. All right, picnic table. We're going to that shovel. Oh, good. <laughs> they say no thanks to the fungus ladybug. Don't make eye contact. Oh, they'll know. Okay, we need to go to the shovel. Look at all these. This is a stone path, correct? Yeah, it goes all the way to the shed. Okay. There's probably some goodies stuck in here. There's a lot of weeds in between. That's kind of sick. Okay, here's the shovel. There's a lot of bees here. I'm feeling... Is that a... They're all frozen there. Uh, okay, so that's that's some honey just sitting out. I've just noticed. So this is going to be interesting. The leaning shovel we've discovered. Look at that. Talked about it, and now we're here. Hello. Ooh. Mind if I do? What's that sound? Is that a roly-poly? It didn't sound dangerous. Whatever it was. This is a lot of good rocks here. We got one, two, three, four. We're talking about just pebblets. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is a great place to go get rock. Oh my gosh. If we can use this shovel. Okay, is there a way to break this to make it fall? Yes. Okay, we guessed correctly from the knowledge that we got from the comments. This is gonna be cool. This is the biggest thing we've ever pushed off. I wanna break this, though. I wanna see what happens. Oh, we just change our mutations. We're in fighting mode right now, aren't we? What's our mutations at? Uh, there's Y. Mutations. We are running on D. We do not want to run on D. We want Sharpshooter. We want Meat Shield. Parry Master sounds good. And then we'll take the poison off and we'll go with... I don't know. Juicy? <laughs> Probably change that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I'm excited. This is the biggest thing ever. Hell yeah! Holy... Holy crap, dude! Oh man, okay. Let's do this. Oh, it's Bombardier Beetle. That makes sense. There's a lot of rocks around. There's some gum there. Are you going to attack me here? Are we chill? Are we chill, B? We chill? You're sleeping? Chopping's the weakness, really? And flashing? Pierce the eyes are weakness? That's good. Wait, it actually tells me. Okay, bye. Huh. I guess they all don't have eye weaknesses. 
Ooh, a crow feather. You shouldn't have. Don't mind if I do, son. Woohoo! Seven out of one? Dude, the best crow feather. Can we break this? No. Only the banana peel is left. This banana peel is not nearly brown enough from the amount of time we've played this game. Who came by here and dropped this? The timeline doesn't add up. This banana is way too yellow. <laughs> the banana peel. Okay, we can fall through these, so let's not. Look at this plastic construction. Stronger than nails. If only we could make armor out of plastic, we'd be invincible. All right, so we know from when we were over here, there is a place to set up a zip line. We have some silk to do these things. How do we get above? We found the juice. We found... What is this? Oh, it's a hot dog. What is this? Cookie sandwich bite, of course. What is this? A nail, of course. Hello! Hello, bee! Catapult me, bee! Catapult me! Alright. I see what it's telling us to do. Go to the other side of the bench, the game calls, and I'm here to listen. Really? Ah! I would like it if you could land over here. Over here, yes. Come over here. Yes! <laughs> Get my arrows back, please. Actually, I think a few fell. Unfortunate. Why'd you attack me? Why are we attacking each other? You weren't attacking me before. Oh my gosh, there's so many. They're definitely around this honey up here. Let's just get that straight. Which is interesting, because they're the ones that produce the honey. They would be... They would be more towards the situation of attacking if I was near a nest. Are we near a hive of some sort? Can we push this pencil down? I'm asking the real questions here. No, we cannot. What if I smack a... I cannot. What if I break down and we make wooden pen pencil stuff? What are you doing? Why are you shaking your rumpa dump? I don't see why, but he does it anyway. Oh, we get to hit this and it falls. That's what these things do. I never knew how to do it, but now I know. The cooler box, we have to bust. Aha! Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. What does this say? We should read what we're, we're standing on. Um, Minotaur. Wait, all right. Minotaur. Minotaurs and... My... Wait, what? My something. My... Windows? Minotaurs in my windows? Oh, look at that! There is a Minotaur... Oh, this is foreshadowing. Hold up! We got ant people. We got a person that we're supposed to symbolize. And we have so many ant people, and oh my gosh, that's a human. This is us scale to human. We're gonna have to fight a minotaur at the end of this. Is that what all saying? Oh my gosh. Dude, if we if Shemector comes in the yard and we fight him being tiny, it's this game's a 10 out of 10 already. That'll make it a 11. Hot dang. Alright, the timer's up. We're gonna climb this in the next episode. I'll see you in that next episode here in just a bit. Bye-bye.